time. What a difference. What a difference. There's like uh, nothing around here. And that is crazy. Those of you that actually commented for the past couple of years that people don't know what a real hammer drill is until you use an SDS hammer drill, you are f***ing correct. This thing is bad. This has nothing on the SDS, on an SDS hammer drill. Absolutely nothing. Test this out as well. All right, take two. I forgot to hit the record button. All right, today I'm Mac here with Tools. We are going to explore the most favorite thing that the Hilti Neuron platform made that I absolutely loved and I wanted it and I'm glad I got it. Also, I have a measuring and a vacuum attachment. This is cross compatible with the TE6 as well. So for the vacuum attachment, all you gotta do is slide it into its slot, then you are good to go. Bam. Don't need to do that. Ooh, I got a package. Perfect timing, let's see what I got. Alrighty, let's see what I got. It has to be tools, this has to be tools. Alrighty, so this is good news. Very good news, this means the video is done. All right, so go check out the Torque Test channel. He just filmed this. I do not know when the video is gonna be uploaded, if it's uploaded already. I did send him these and he tested the crap out of them and I can't wait to see the results. Go check out Torque Test channel, bam. All right, so we have an eight amp hour battery on there. This is AVR technology and ATG technology. So the ATG means bam, that turns off for safety features. So it doesn't kick back at you. It does have forward and reverse. That's reverse, that's forward. And it does have drill mode or hammer drill mode. That also means you can do small core drilling, which is awesome. Just so uh, clicks in like that. Then to take it out, you just pull that down, then good to go. The vacuum attachment, you can adjust this to have it like, let's say you only wanted to do an inch. And there you go, then this will actually only allow you to do an inch. It's a good double feature now, if you want this to stay, if you don't want this fully extended, all you have to do is uh, this button right here, push up, then like then it's done. This is good for storage to put back in your case or, or whatnot. I'm not gonna lie, I do not know what this button does. I took this apart and I, I have no clue. But let's take this up because as you can see, that's under here. And even underneath there, it's uh, there's nothing. So to replace this filter, all you need is a very thin flathead screwdriver and it just pops right out. Just like that. Just like that. And then there you go. Then that, see like I said, I do not know what this button does. I do not see anything inside on what it actually does. It doesn't move anything. So I'm not, I'm not sure what that does. It would be cool if you didn't need to use a tool to actually take this out but so it doesn't snap on you. Uh, it's just easier just to use a little small flathead just to pop that out. Put it on like that. Then you are good to go. That. And like I said, this is my favorite tool that I received from Hilti. This thing is seriously bad. All right, so we are gonna do a test between the 2.5, the four, and the eight, we are gonna do one hole each without the vacuum, then we're gonna do one hole each with the vacuum. And just to let you guys know, when it comes to doing concrete tests like this, I wanna find a company that has big concrete blocks around here and see if I could actually uh, do, th do these tests with these SDS hammer drills. If you wanna do real tests with these SDS hammer drills, duration tests, you know, do hundreds of holes. So I contacted a few, they've denied me so far for insurance purposes, but I have a few more to call and I'm hoping that I could actually persuade them to let me drill a bunch of holes through concrete. All right, so let's actually do the 
2.5 amp hour battery. First, let's do one without the vacuum. Put it, make sure a hammer. Ooh, that is nice. Like I said, this is the first, uh, this is the first SDS hammer drill on this channel. All right, so let's do some tests. Let's see how well this does. Oh my God. Okay, so you see the big uh, ring right here? We're gonna leave that. Let's actually focus in on that right there. Zoom in. All right, so that ring, we're gonna do another one. Now let's do the four amp hour. Wow, this is actually a lot quieter than a regular hammer drill. Like, like it's crazy. And we're doing it up, up to the brick. Sorry, up to the tape, not brick. Wow, that is seriously insane. All right, now let's switch over to the eight amp hour. That is insane. That seriously is insane. All right, you guys see how, how that is. Now let's switch over to the 2.5 again. And let's put this on. All right, so we're gonna try this out. Time. What a difference. What a difference. There's like uh, nothing around here. And that is crazy. So like, yeah, so like for throughout all platforms, whoever designed this originally is a genius. All right, let's go to the four amp hour. Look at that. That is crazy. And let's the final, let's go to the eight amp hour. I'm so glad I got these. Look at that. Like there's nothing up here. There's absolutely nothing up there. And look at this. Yeah, that, that is absolutely insane. So yeah, that vacuum feature is seriously essential to have if you're working with concrete. It really is. Like I said, this is the first SDS hammer drill that this channel has gotten. I thank you so much, Ms. Wilson, for sending me this. This is seriously awesome. I, let's do a test with the older hammer drill. Okay, like I said, it's a, it's a, this is not Neuron. This is the older style brushless hammer drill. Alrighty, so we have this right here, 8 amp hour battery, battery is full. Let's do this for a little bit and let's see in how this is. Yeah, no comparison you guys, I'm not even going to finish. Now let's do this one one more time. Time. That is absolutely insane. And so as you can see, that is, it has material in there. It actually did a fantastic job and I'm actually proud to own this one. Like I said, that's why I'm, this is my favorite one because it's small, it's, it's compact more than the other ones and it has plenty of power to do the job you needed to do. But like I said, you guys, more testing of this is coming up. I am seriously looking at companies around my area that actually make concrete that, or have a lot of concrete blocks. I still have some more to ask, but for the ones that I did ask, for insurance purposes, they have denied me access to their property to test these tools out. So, guys, that's pretty much it. I got plenty more videos coming up. Those impact wrenches are going to come up. The, the, the grinder's coming up. These are actually awesome, and I'm actually proud that I actually get to test these out. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.